think what it says about the industry though, separate from Odyssey is like, you're starting to see people think about podcasts in different ways. Um, and, and here's how I think about it. I think that a podcast could be a standalone business that you have where you have a lane and you create content and you know you're going to have advertisers come sponsor that. That's what kind of the baseline expectation for a podcast is. You've got hobbyists that now make up the long tail where you hear that Spotify has over 5 million podcasts in the library. Not enough of them. I don't care if Anchor can help monetize the long tail. Nobody's going to pay their bills with this. There are millions of people making podcasts that are not going to pay their bills with it. So as a hobbyist, it's interesting. But what what the commercial application is for other groups is that it can be like an extension of your business, like a newsletter. And there can be real value in creating a podcast to have conversations. And I think Media Roundtable is a good example of this. We don't sell ads in this show. So we don't even try to monetize it directly, but indirectly, the the conversations that it facilitates, the way it changes our thinking, the way that it creates awareness for our thinking in the marketplace, and the way that it's led to introductions like Tamara. You know, we met Tamara because we had a listener of this podcast go, you need to meet this person. You're both working on similar stuff. And now we've created this beautiful partnership with the work that she's done with Barometer out of that. And a podcast can serve that. Probably the most prestigious application of a podcast is what we're talking about here, where you go, all right, we're going to use it as a testing bed to get a proof of concept on an idea that we think could make it onto a screen where it makes more money. And if it works there, maybe it'll work in the other way. So, you know, it's the notion of fire bullets before you fire missiles. Um, podcast is a low barrier to entry, low cost way to try trial balloon a concept before you double down and try to make it something that people are going to, you know, pay a subscription to stream in the future. Yeah, I and think that's, that's, I think that's here. one really good way. I think another really good way is, is actually the exact opposite. And <laughs>